I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. As we are done with the season 3 retrospectives, we are now getting into the wrap up videos for the season. Season 4 retrospectives will start next week, and in two weeks we will do the season 3 episode ranking. Uh, but today we are talking about season 3 as a whole with my initial thoughts upon finishing the season. And with these hands, I hope the fate of millions. So yeah, I changed the title to First Thoughts instead of Analysis because doing this video so closely to when I finish the season, um, it's really just gonna be my first thoughts. I might go back later down the line and make a bigger review video of each season, but uh, for now we are gonna be keeping the structure from the analysis of the previous two seasons, meaning that we are gonna be starting with talking about the animation in season 3. The animation is okay in this season. Now I'm not talking about the visuals right now, I'm talking about the actual animation of the characters and their movement. I wouldn't see season 3 is uh, stiff, but losing John K kind of hurt the season on this level. Now if they didn't lose him, um, the season would probably be about half as long, but his obsession with perfection could have been uh, useful for some scenes as much of the animation in this season is just nothing special in my opinion. But visually, this season is kind of strong. Y'all know how much I love uh, detailed shots, and almost every episode this season has its share of uh, great ones. And it's not just the detailed shots, the coloring and just how stuff is drawn in many scenes looks beautiful. Now, I say many scenes because there are definitely not so beautiful scenes in this season. The worst offender probably being uh, Lair of the Lummox, which manages to be like a jungle themed episode kind of, that doesn't have one like good looking frame. That is kind of crazy, since it's also the sequel to Untamed World, which is a really good looking episode in my opinion. But the positives outweighs the negatives, and I'm really thankful for uh, how many episodes I can say I enjoy the visuals in. Pretty much every scene where it's darker is gonna look fantastic. And I'm talking about the forest scene in No Pants Today, the sunset scene in Ren's Retirement, and the city scenes in Hard Time for Haggis, which are all like gold. But Jerry the Belly Button Elf is probably the most consistently strong episode visually wise. Visually wise? I feel like I'm. I've. Like for all of my videos, I've been mispronouncing the word uh, wise. Because say vice when it should be wise. Uh, I don't know. I love the night scene, which in uh, Jerry the Belly Button Elf, which is then followed up by the trippy music video scene, and then everything inside the navel button looks great as well. I also enjoyed uh, an Ape Divided and the circus episodes visuals a lot. That's excluding the first scene in an Ape Divided where Ren and Stimpy are eating like rotten meat. I think the lighter scenes with the more uh, boring backgrounds in some episodes are kind of uninteresting to look at. Jiminy Lummox and Lair of the Lummox, ironically, being the worst offenders, but like I said, there is still way more good than bad. Comedy wise, yeah, it's, it's not looking very good. It's not like season 3 is devoid of comedy or anything, but I feel like there are just way less actual jokes. I tend to laugh more at the random faces than what the characters are actually saying, which was the case in like season 2 as well, but there was way more of a balance back then, now it just feels like Ren gets way less good lines, which is painfully apparent in Lair of the Lummox, where he talks for the whole episode and never says anything funny. Now like I said, the faces are still funny, but even then it feels like they are just using just less facial expressions, which probably might be to budgetary reasons, because there are some episodes where we have seen before where the characters are making like 10 faces a minute, and here it's just like, they don't really do that anymore. Season 3, uh, season three slapstick is uh, decent, mostly when it's just Ren slapping Stimpy, because that has always been so funny to me. But A Yard Too Far does a good job being a slapstick heavy episode, and Larry the Lummox has slapstick in the episode as well. 
Not saying it's good slapstick or that it's funny in any way, but it's for sure there. There are also uh, moments spread throughout most episodes where something slapstick related happens and it's often done well enough. Character wise, wise the season is not bad. I don't think I had any like big problems with Ren and Stimpy this season, but something I noticed is how the two have become a lot more watered down here. With this I mean that Ren being insane and Stimpy being stupid is way less present in season 3 than the previous two seasons. In some episodes they barely feel like characters, just fill in protagonists uh, that are there to react to something happening. I do have a problem with such integral parts of their characters not being utilized nearly as much as I would like, but it's not like Ren doesn't get to be insane or Stimpy doesn't get to be stupid, or it kind of is that, because I can't name one episode where Ren goes nearly as crazy as in the army Sven Hoek or Stimpy's fan club, and before you say Ren's Peter half, no, that's him being evil, not him being insane. But yeah, that's basically the one episode where Ren's character traits actually really gets to shine, because it was an episode about his character traits. Still think it should have been an insane side instead of an evil side though. This is of course the first full season where Billy West plays both characters, and I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I think he does a very good job. Even if he doesn't have quite the same delivery as John, his voice as Ren is still good, and if it's not the faces, it's Ren's delivery I tend to laugh at in this season. His acting as Stimpy is still great as well, he always was. Story-wise is probably the best-wise for the season. I really enjoyed most season 3 episode stories, and they were, they were varied, although this season has even less medium shifting episodes than the previous, only having the Untamed World episode. But with episodes like Bassmasters, Hard Time for Haggis and Eat My Cookies, the stories still feel varied at least somewhat enough. The season has a set of episodes with an adventure theme, which are No Pants Today, uh, Circus and Road Apples. But it also has some more relaxed at home episodes with To Salve and Salve Not, Jiminy Lummox, and Ren's Bitter Half, although relax is probably not the right word to describe any episode of this show. But what I'm trying to say is most stories felt fresh and stood apart from the previous one. Tonally, though, there is not much of a difference episode to episode. While there are episodes with darker scenes, it's not really any episode that had a darker tone for the lion part of the episode. The closest would be Ren's Peter half and I guess Ren's retirement a little bit, but the rest of the season was just more on the light-hearted side, which is totally fine, but I like when there is a mix of both. That's pretty much all I had for today. Um, join me next week where we're taking a look at Hermit Ren and starting off season 4. Uh, <laughs> goodbye folks. <laughs>